What's up, guys? So, I am currently in Lake Tahoe uh, in California. If you guys know where that is, fantastic. It's beautiful. It is hot. I'm currently sitting on a rock, a boulder um, in the woods. Uh, my family owns a cabin here, so I'm visiting my family and hanging out with my girlfriend here. So anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys and say what's up. Once again, I apologize for the audio of this video because I am a silly person and forgot my microphone as well as my wind cover. So you'll probably get some background noise, you'll probably get some silliness. So I apologize for that. But anyways, let's just get into the video. I just briefly wanted to touch on the markets and they've been pretty interesting the past few weeks. It's been pretty green, right? So I think Bitcoin hit $17.5,000 and now we're at like 23.5 or something like that. And ETH went from like 750 to like 1600. So, you know, if you had been dollar cost averaging in that area, you're definitely up right now and you're probably feeling pretty decent and maybe even getting baited into thinking this is a, some sort of long-term reversal bull run. And I think it pays to be cautious in moments like this. I wanna warn you guys, there is quite frequently 50 to 70 to 80 percent rallies in a bear market and some people might say hey we're up 10 15 20 30 percent we're not in a bear market anymore but we i think we still are macro we're still in a bear market so you know until it's been proven otherwise that we're not in a bear market anymore and there is a bullish sentiment in the macro economy so stocks and real estate and everything and that's currently not the case I would say that we are still in a bull market, or we are still in a bear market, sorry. I, I wish we were in a bull market, which is why I'm probably thinking that, and to just be cautious. So right now I'm just sticking with my plan. So I'm just continuing to dollar cost average. And you know, if we, if we go to like 30K Bitcoin and ETH goes to like above 2K again, maybe I just even take some more profits. I don't wanna be doing anything crazy risky in this market currently. So, you know, between that and then the news about Tesla selling like 75% of their Bitcoin in Q2. So that's in the past, right? So the news came out and not much happened. The markets really haven't moved much. Granted, Elon Musk hasn't tweeted about it yet. So that could change something. Regardless, that hasn't happened yet. So. We'll see what ends up happening, but regardless, the, the markets seem to be responding just fine to that news because, it, you know, it's in the past. He, he dumped those coins already, and it sounds like they dumped those coins to make sure that they had a positive cash flow for Tesla, the business. And so maybe those numbers were a little bit inflated because I think they sold off, like, you know, multiple hundreds of millions of dollars of Bitcoin, I think. I don't know. Don't fact check me on that. You know, the market's pretty crazy right now. I think some people are getting baited into this being a bull run. I don't think we're in a bull run. I think it's still time to be patient. I think it's still time to be growing your bag slowly and patiently and just kind of looking around, making sure that you're staying up to date, learning, growing, maybe even building something. I know that's kind of a meme now in the NFT community, but building something, even if that's just growing your following, that's a big thing. You know, hang in there, guys bull markets, bear markets, especially bear markets can feel like they drag on for a long, long time. And realistically, we've only been in a bear market for a few months. So hang in there, take your time, continue to dollar cost average, maybe buy an NFT or two that you're really, really passionate about. You really like the community. You really think the developers are doing something really cool. A couple projects that are coming out semi soon and a project that came out recently, the free mint from meme land, the potatoes, those have done particularly well. Free mint into like, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ETH is quite the come up. Um, so that's pretty cool. I know they have like an evolution thing going on. So it'll go from like the potato to it'll like sprout. Maybe it'll turn into like a character or something. I don't really know what they have going on there, but it's pretty cool. And it's cool to see that people are still continuing to make money. You know, I have some people in my discord that are making money um, trading very low cap coins. You know, I don't do that too much, but I do think it's interesting and I do think you can make a lot of money there. So NFTs, low cap coins, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin or Ethereum, you have lots of plays to make money in a bear market. It just, it's a little bit, you have to play it a little bit different. You can't just throw crap at a wall and watch your money go up 10X, right? Once again, I think finding a Discord, finding a community that you can really vibe with is paramount in times like this, right? So it's kind of boring. There's not much going on. You need to ask questions, you need to learn, you need to grow. And in order to do that, you need like-minded people who are interested in the same stuff, NFTs, crypto, and discords are a great way to do that and a great way to grow that community. So obviously I have mine. If you're interested in joining my discord, you can sign up for the wait list. It is in my Twitter description. So you can click that link. You can sign up for that wait list. There's a bunch of different discords you can join. Um, Dark Echelon's a great discord group from Amir. Crypto Gorillas group is great. I know Bento Boy has a great discord with Squishy Squad, Kosher Plug with Plug Plus. 
with plug pass has a great discord sorry so there's lots of communities you can join obviously i would love to have you in mine but once again you have lots of options so don't feel pressure to do anything it's your money right just checking in i'm probably going to be shooting a couple videos here it is beautiful in tahoe here once again i'm sitting on a boulder i climbed up here to shoot this video and it's amazing there was a fire that swept through here recently my family owns a cabin and you know for a, for a hot minute we thought the cabin would get destroyed in that fire but it ended up not getting destroyed obviously because i'm here and enjoying it but tahoe is pretty crazy california is pretty crazy with fires and and whatnot so look guys take your time be patient great to see you great to talk to you one last thing i wanted to mention before i go is make sure that if you're feeling really down and the markets just have your mental like screwed up take some time away like a bear market can last a little while can last you know six eight two three years like you have time to kind of get back in the markets kind of get your head where you want to be going to places like this is a great way to do that so once again guys make sure to take your time if you're not feeling yourself if you're feeling weird go touch some grass go literally touch some grass Get outside, get away from the markets, unplug from NFTs, un unplug from crypto. It'll be here when you're interested in coming back. So thank you guys so much for watching these videos, for supporting me. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Thank you guys once again for joining me on this journey, and I will see you guys in the very, very next video.